I cannot believe that I have to make this video. This is not like a traditional video. I have to defend Amber Lynn Reed because she actually took one of the biggest W's I've ever seen her take in her entire online career. Uh, if you guys don't know, there's a ton of Amber Lynn Reed drama going on right now, and I have been keeping up to date with it through the live streams, through a few videos, things such and so forth. By the way, we are live streaming on this channel very frequently, almost daily. So if you all want, if you ever see me live streaming, make sure you tune in and say hello. But anyway, uh, Amber Lynn was into some big drama over her last girlfriend, uh, which was known as Valentine, or we just came to know to her as uh, Erica. And I was blown away because I watched a few videos and I was thinking, obviously Amber is a problem in this situation. Amber has a problem with uh, relationships in general. She always finds herself too clingy, too attached. She expects too much from relationships. She asks for too much in relationships. She takes too much in relationships. She's just not equipped to have a relationship. And I still thoroughly believe that. But I was watching the video that Apathetic Facts put out on my stream. And I went into that video thinking, okay, Amber's gonna come out as obviously the, you know, the biggest piece of shit in this video. But I watched it, and by the end of the video, Amber Lynn actually changed my mind. Amber Lynn is actually right in this situation. I, I can't even believe it, dude. And the amount of dubs Amber Lynn was taking was actually astronomical. Uh, we watched the video on stream. Maybe you're seeing some clips of it. It was actually incredible the amount of ways that Amber was able to absolutely bitch slap everybody. I mean, this woman, literally, Brittany, who was like thinking about thinking about how dynamic the situation was. I mean, let's let's go over this for a second, okay? Amber was in a relationship with a woman, okay, that was named Erica. Erica originally was in. This is all legend, of course, but the, these are doc. The, there was voice memos being played out on these live streams so if this was all if this was fabricated in some way then it will have to come out but it seems like this is all confirmed by the the parties involved but erica hit up amber lynn reed in the dms on instagram and said was with the with the with the idea of trolling now keep in mind erica's in a relationship a nine-year relationship at that and a marriage to top it off okay i do want to say how this all started was uh, me and Brittany were sitting in bed and we saw one of Amber Lynn's um, posts talking about masculine women and um, Brittany looked at me and I looked at her and I was like what if I messaged her right so our first message was I was like I think I said like masculine women question mark or something like that and she messaged me back that's and we were messaging for a while um, back and forth just like talking and then, um, of course, it started It started becoming a problem um, between Brittany and I because I was like, apparently, I guess her, her true colors were showing, whatever. Um, she and also, can you imagine laying in bed with your girlfriend and then flirting casually with Amberlynn Reed on your phone? <laughs> Yo, whoa! With anyone, and so, whatever. Um, she did ask if I was with anyone, and so I had talked to Brittany, and I was like, what should I tell her? Ah, uh, dude, wait, were they just trying to, were they just trying to actually like catch her in a lie or like trying to fuck her up? Like what is the, what is the nature of this whole thing? Cause I thought it was like an actual relationship. So did she actually just cheat on her wife with Amber Lynn while she was in bed? Yes, Amber is desperate for love and attention anywhere. That's so sad, though. If you're just getting random DMs from people, like Amber's got to be on high alert, dude. Amber Lynn is literally one of the most trolled people on the internet. Or at least one of the one of the most well-known people on the internet for trolling. She's got to be well aware that there are going to be many people that are going to be trying to, like, fuck with her. So I, I would not I would not take almost anybody serious on the internet. Um, she did ask if I was with anyone, and so I had talked to Brittany, and I was like, "What should I tell her?" And Brittany was like, "Tell her that like we're still technically married, but that you know." Um, we aren't like technically together, but we're like by law still married. A nine year marriage with her wife, Brittany. And Amber Lynn um, was very ecstatic at the idea that Erica hit her up in the DMs and Erica with the intention of trolling her and getting content for presumably her channel or other people's channels, somehow managed to not only 
not troll Amber Lynn, but become the troll ye, become the individual that 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 got shoehorned into a loving relationship. I mean, the exact words that were coming out of this woman's mouth were astronomical. She was literally telling Amber Lynn that she loved her and that she thought Amber Lynn was sexy and amazing and was sending her money and was and I'm just thinking like, who is Amber? Like Amber has this kind of pull. And now keep in mind, this woman, Erica was fully aware that Amber was playing the field with multiple different women at this time. Oh, also, um, I'd like to point out that while I was talking to Amber Lynn, um, she was talking to a girl named Danielle that was also married. I don't know like the full details behind that whole situation. I just know that I was kind of like the back burner person of this whole triangle that she had going on. You were like just she... a side piece, dude. Did she just self admit that she was a side piece? Can you imagine being a side piece to Amberlyn Reed while your marriage is literally compromised because of it? <laughs> what even, what is the situation, bro? So you were talking to Amber as a side piece and your wife was like, dude, this is crazy. Stop talking to Amber Lynn. And then you were like, okay. But then you went back. Like it was like a, an addiction. Like you couldn't stop yourself. Like you just had to keep talking to Amber Lynn. Dude, what makes it, bro? Is Amber Lynn really that delectable that you're literally compromising the marriage for her? That's insane, man. I'd be asking for the phone. Let me see the DMs, dude. And so I was like, so what would this relationship be? And she was like, just more loyal, more communication, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, I can deal with that. We continued talking and things got more and more in depth with each other. And I was actually starting to second guess, like her as a person. Um, you should be questioning your own person, bro, what? You know, maybe the haters are wrong, you know. Dude, she was literally out here going, you know what? I think Amber might be delectable. I think Amber actually might be the goodest. I think I might have to leave my wife for Amber Lynn. That's what I'm hearing. Dude, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like she's literally out here going, you know what? I think Amber might be the bee's knees. I think I might have to leave my wife for this woman. That is right, guys. She was literally out here. She engaged in a full-on relationship with Amber Lynn behind her wife's back at this point, apparently. I mean, I don't know to what degree her wife knew about this, but from her words, she engaged in a relationship, an actual relationship, like you want to be my girlfriend type shit, with Amber Lynn and did it on Valentine's Day while she was in a relationship with her wife. Think about this whole context of the situation. Amber Lynn just gets a random DM from this girl that, that, that she finds attractive. And then Amber Lynn goes, you know what? Let me pursue this. Falls under the impression that this girl is in a marriage. Okay. But the marriage is not accurate. It's not a real marriage. It's a facade. It's an illusion. It's a marriage that's only done for financial reasons or whatever. Right. And so you go, all right, fine. Like, since this is just a marriage that we're going to, you know, like we're, it's nothing. It's a nothing relationship. You might as well be my girlfriend then. And this girl said, yes. <laughs> she would also bring up random points throughout the video uh, to try to make it seem like whatever she was doing was not as bad as it actually was. Like randomly bringing up the fact that whenever she did talk to Amber, she would never badmouth her wife, which is really weird because that's like the least of your worries. I don't know why you're bringing up whether or not you did or did not badmouth your wife. I mean, you're literally cheating on your wife. So like talking shit behind your wife's back is almost irrelevant. Um, I never said anything bad about my wife to her. Hey, bro, if I'm going to keep it a buck with you, this is, I don't give a fuck that you never said anything bad about your wife. Is it, is it, what, what, what is even the purpose of saying that statement when you cheated on your wife? What is the purpose of saying that? Like, oh yeah, even, yeah, I mean, I did cheat on my wife and obviously that's the worst of the worst, but... I never said anything bad, okay? What the fuck? What is, <laughs> what? What, what? What is even that purpose of saying that, dude? That's such a fucking, that's such a weird thing to end off on, bro. What? This situation is so crazy that it even got to the point where Amber Lynn was literally had this girl wrapped around her finger to such a degree that she was telling her that she should leave her wife. Like if your wife was doing something or is in a house or something like that, Amber would literally be like, dude, stop stop doing that dude just like leave your wife real quick just go outside just take a walk like go go on a drive and call me because i need to talk to you right now and she would sit there saying like oh I, no i don't want to i just can't do that right now. keep in mind 
You're married, and you're out here talking, you're trying to delegate whether or not you should be talking to, you're arguing with Amber about whether, why you don't want to leave the house and talk to her right now, leaving your wife, which is incredible, bro. And then it even got to the point where Amber literally got her to share her location through many weeks of pestering. Like, Amber would literally be like, oh, I just need to know exactly where you are at all given points in time. Like, I need you, and all this other stuff, right? And she did it. She gave her her location. Keep in mind, this girl is literally married, bro. And Amber is looking at this woman as a side piece. And she had this much, she had this much hold over her. So I, I was like, no. Um. So no to putting her on the tracker so Amber can see her where she's at at all given points in time. Not going to do that. A couple weeks go by and she's still pestering me about it, still pestering me about it. And I, I agreed to it. And it, is she still married or like is she still married to this person if she's if she's still married to this individual bro that's insane i was you know i don't i won't want to i don't want to say she casted a spell on me but she like you know it was almost like manipulation at its finest she's basically this is just basically forgiving her bad behavior like oh no it wasn't my fault because guess what i was you know manipulated or somebody cast a spell on me she's basically just forgiving herself here or she's trying to make it seem like she's forgivable, but she's not, obviously. Like, if you cheat on your wife, dude, and you were doing this over the period of literal months, you you, you flirting with Amber, letting her see your location, doing all this shit for months at a time is not something I would ever classify anything other than cheating. That, that was the gist of our relationship. We FaceTimed, we talked, we sent pictures, whatever. She knew where I was. She asked for <laughs> Bro, that's a lot. Okay? That's a lot. That, you know, that's all it really was. Like, we texted... We FaceTimed. She knew everything. I mean, she she knew where I was at all given points in time. I mean, I was sending her screenshots of my my call logs, my text messages. I mean, it was not that much. I mean, it's it's not really that much, right? Like, I, that's all. That's it. That's really all it was. That's all it was. That's a fucking lot. I also want to point out, right? One of the claims that Erica had was that she didn't want her wife involved. Like, she didn't want her wife to deal with any of the problems or she didn't want any backlash for her wife because her wife is innocent and all this. And I think that is the most retarded claim I've heard in this entire video. Because, for one, how can you sit there and say you don't want your wife involved in this, yet you are here making videos about it on YouTube, okay? And you're posting about it all over social medias and stuff like that. You don't think your wife is going to deal with stuff by proxy? Like, don't you think that that's like the backblast of what you're doing? You're, you're holding a RPG and your wife is right behind it. And you're going, I just don't want my wife to be hurt at all. Like me firing this rocket, even though it's actually doing a lot of damage, it shouldn't actually hurt my wife, right? No, the backblast of the rocket launcher firing is going to hit your wife as, as, a, con as, a, as a, a cause and effect of that. And then also, it's actually meaningless because, dude... Uh, her wife, Brittany, literally was on live stream yesterday with, oh lordy, it's Jordy, and they were talking about it for like an hour and a half. So even that's not correct. And not even that, dude, it's the, it's the, the people that are talking, it's all Brittany. It's all Brittany's account. So when she says this, I want you guys to understand, she's lying. Like, none of this stuff is true. She's actually gaslighting into thinking that her wife is innocent in this, and I thought so too when I first started watching the video. She's not. Her wife is contributing to this just as much, and it's even worse given the fact that her wife had to deal with all this shit, and she's still with this deplorable human being, which makes her worse by proxy, because not only are you dealing with all of this, you forgave your wife, you're arguing. You're arguing with the trolls about how great your wife is while she cheated. Your wife is the reason why you're in this problem. I don't know why you have a quarrel with Amber. Talk to your wife. Your wife is the issue. I don't want my wife getting backlash for this. You're, okay, I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know why. I, I see this so often. Amberlynn Reed did the same thing with the, the new girlfriend, dude. But if you're going to sit here and you're going to make a video like this, are you going to give people permission to use this and say i just don't want my wife to be you do realize that you are fueling the fire of your wife's harassment by going on somebody else's channel and doing this right like this is you're literally doing the thing that you don't want them to do i don't know why people don't acknowledge that like if you don't want people talking about you then don't give them fuel to talk about you um all of this stuff is actually making me think higher of amber bro 
Like, this is actually, like, the fact that Amber was able to juggle multiple women, have this one buying her stuff, having this one thinking that she was cheating on her. Dude, obviously none of this is good, right? I'm not saying any of this is good, but think about the situation you got to be in to be being played by Amber Lynn, spending all that money, spending all that time. Despite, you know what I'm talking about? Like, Amber Lynn is literally playing multiple women at this point, bro. This is less of a video about Amber Lynn and more of a video about how this, <laughs> how bad of a person this guy, this person is, bro. Cheating on your wife with Amber Lynn, dude, and like paychecks on Amber is crazy, bro. One of my main problems with this entire story is that this was all occurring over literal months. I believe from like September to February or Marchish, right? So literally months and months and months and months. And somehow, keep in mind, like these things were, she was texting her. She was buying her shit. They were on the phone literally all the time. Her words, not mine. These things were occurring while she was living with her wife, Brittany, at the time. And for some reason, her wife, I guess, throughout that entire time, even though she was there when she initiated it and she was completely fine with that shit happening, she, I guess, didn't ask any questions about that following few months where your wife was literally on the phone consistently texting somebody, trying to call people, literally behind your back. Somehow you went months and you'd never occurred to you that this, this woman that you're with might be cheating on you with somebody at the bare minimum or at the very least, something is going on, something a little bit suspicious. Somehow her wife never found out or like, I guess up until this point, months later, she finally asks, which is, I don't care. Like there, that is so unbelievable for 99% of anybody, like that is purposeful ignorance. You're you're literally in bed with your wife all the time. This is you're living together, and now you want to ask, hey, who are you texting? What's going on? Why now? That's so weird, bro. Like it's obvious. You, this is why I think the wife is also lying. This whole situation is just like crazy to me on its head because you want me to assume so much here. You want me to believe so much. I'm not believing it. It's ridiculous to assume any of this stuff. So she keeps messaging me every day for like the next week and me and Brittany are in the bedroom you know trying to watch a movie and like i told her i'm i'm watching a movie and this is kind of like where you know the truth came out and Brittany like was like who are you talking to dude months later and your wife finally asks you this dude okay i'm i'm, I'm starting to not even feel bad for your wife at this point dude it seems like you guys were all just purposely ignorant and i told her i said you know amberlynn won't leave me alone bro Basically. it's not amberlynn won't leave me alone dude just hit the block button dude what are you talking about amberlynn won't leave me alone bro oh dude it's just gross dude it's just gross, man. These people never want to take accountability, bro. This, that, what do you mean? You just hit the block button, dude. You don't have to, you don't have to entertain Amber Lynn. Bro, your wife literally asked you for the first time after months of you being on your phone and all this other shit, and now she asks you, and then your response is, listen, Amber Lynn won't leave me alone. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, will not leave me alone. I was trying to give her every excuse I could to not talk to her anymore. Dude block what do you mean you were giving her every fucking block dude it's not hard it's literally go up hit the hit the little cog button and scroll it says block right there and it wasn't she wasn't budging she just not you're fucking budging dude just fucking block the person what do you mean they weren't budging can you imagine being like oh i was telling them i don't want to talk to them but they kept talking to me i don't know like there was nothing i can do i don't know i guess i was just i just gotta talk to them i guess what are you talking about how easy it is to block to somebody is actually unbelievably easy. Um, I just know that there is nothing exciting about me. And Amber, bro, this woman is, this woman is bad. This, this woman is actually terrible, bro. This woman is terrible. Holy shit. This woman is, what, is this like a self-diagnosis on how to be a terrible person 101? Text Amber to become a troll, fall in love with Amber, cheat on wife. Try to justify why you're still talking to Amber to your wife. But please, like, leave my wife out of this. Like dude, I, dude, this woman is actually atrocious, bro. I'm actually, like, I'm actually getting upset. This woman is actually terrible, bro. This is, this is, this is beyond, this is bottom of the barrel human being behavior right here. This, this woman is literally out here talking about some don't say anything to my wife. 
Dude, I gotta keep it a buck. If your main intention was to keep your wife out of this, why the fuck is, first of all, why are you even making this video, okay? You should have never even interacted with any of these reaction channels if you, if you wanted your wife out of it. She is a proxy of you, okay? And then secondly, she's in this video. I heard her in the background. So what are you even talking about? You don't even believe what the fuck you're even saying. None of this is even true. You're literally not even telling the truth in your own video about what you're talking about. This should have, okay, all right. Like, okay, so I'm gonna backtrack a little bit as far as like how all Bro. this first came about. Um, like whenever sh the whole like agreement of the relationship happened, um, she's like, well, we need to meet, you know? <laughs> and I was like, well, when? And she's what like- What do you mean when, dude? You're in a fucking marriage! Oh my God, bro, you don't regret it. How the fuck are you gonna be like, I regret it. And then you were literally considering meet, not even a, dude, Amber Lynn hit her up and was like, we need to meet. The instant response should be, uh, no, I'm married. Her response was, when? Bro, what are you talking about? What do you mean, when? The fuck? Dude, what is that the statement you really want to say? You're fucking married. What? Oh my god. Who is this woman, bro? Dude, this woman is bad. What the fuck do you mean, when? Oh my god. Like, pick a date. What? Oh my god, pick a date? Oh, shit. Bro, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. Jeez, man. Well, we need to meet, you know? And I was like, well, when? And she's like, pick a date. Oh, my. And I didn't pick the date. She ended up picking the date. So? Um, it was August 1st, of course. Oh. And... August 1st? That means she was going to meet today? Dude, they were going to meet up today? Oh, my God. Listen, I will fully acknowledge that Amber Lynn has done a lot of stuff in the past that is most definitely deplorable human being behavior. But, like, if you watch through this entire live stream that we did, dude, uh, it's on my channel, by the way. It's called the a Big Amber Lynn Read Drama on August 1st. You just look in the live stream tab. Dude, this this particular individual, dude, it, it, it is absolutely bottom of the barrel, the worst of the worst, trying to excuse the behavior um, literally out here trying to make it seem like Amber did all of this. It was all on Amber. And we'll fully tell you that they were perp they were going to meet up with them. They were flirting with them for months, sending them money, doing all this stuff. And somehow I'm supposed to look at Amber and go, they're the bad guy. While they were under the, pro the, the false pretense that you were not in an actual marriage. You were in a fake marriage, a facade marriage, and that she was just working. And you were even a side piece. It wasn't even an actual relationship. It was literally a... We're going to meet up, we're going to have sex, or we're going to be just like a, a, a casual fling type thing. Not an actual relationship. And you were getting played by Amber. She was playing the field with multiple women. But it's sad because you knew, you knew that you were getting fucking played. And your wife too at that. Is, it took you back. Took you back after all of this. And, and, and is actively contributing to it as well. Because we'll see the call later. And it's, it's, it's going to be crazy, bro. She thought that... I was going to leave, and I did, like I did later on, and basically say, yeah, I'll be there August 1st, sure, I'll be there August 1st, you know. You have a wife. You have a wife, bro. This woman is a shit human being for relationships. Maybe she's good in other aspects of her life, sure. But in this particular scenario, this particular time, this, this is a bad human being right now, dude. This is some straight up, like, what side of the Tide Pod am I eating today type of person, dude. What the fuck kind of thought process? This entire, even if this was a troll, even if this was rage bait, dude, to have your name, to have your picture attached to this is actually the most smooth brain shit I've ever seen in my life. Because even if this was to rage bait, you put your whole credentials on the line to rage bait, it's still not a good look. The fact that you came up with this whole storyline, even if this was all fake, is insane. All of this whole situation is all in her detriment acted like it was gonna fucking happen instead of me i was being a and basically giving her false hope and i should have woman up and been like no like it's not gonna happen i'm staying with my fucking wife you, like you should have never had this happen to begin with bro why are you focusing on the whole i should have told her i wasn't gonna move in that's the least of the worries bro you were cheating on her for months what you why, why is this the one moment that you go i know i shouldn't have told her i was gonna move in i don't give a fuck about that the cheating is the problem why would I give up what I have here? Oh, man. I got up, bro. Hold up. I got to get up, bro. Whoa. Bro, this 
woman is yo I, this da nah, this is over bro what is rest of this video gonna be bro Th this woman is this woman is actually mentally challenged this woman it has this woman has a mental defection what the fuck you mean I, why would i why would i give up what i got you already put that shit up you was gambling with that shit you were already bro that shit was already on the table and you andied up you don't give a fuck about your wife what are you doing? You over here playing the fucking moral game. I would never give up my- You already cheated on her. And you already put it up. Dude, it doesn't matter. You don't give a fuck about your wife, bro. You don't care. You don't care. You never cared about your wife. So I also want to point out really quickly, okay? Um, I at first didn't know if she did emphasize in this video that she was a therapist. She had told people in this video, and we're going to see the clip in a second, where she says, and I quote, I am a therapist, not past tense, not I was a therapist. No, she said, I am, meaning like she is still practicing as a therapist. By the way, somebody that is practicing as a therapist with this much debilitating mental capacity is actually insane. But obviously, she's not a therapist. She works at Lowe's, which is no problem, by the way. Like, I have no issue with somebody working at Lowe's. I will never shit on somebody for having a job at Lowe's. I, I appreciate that you're a good taxpayer and you're a good individual that can that, 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 that is a, a citizen in society. I have no problem with that. But you said you were a therapist as if it was some type of, like, I don't know, flex, like, I'm a therapist, therefore I know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, you're not a therapist. Stop lying. And I bring this up because later on in the video, she says, I, oh, I, I never said I was a therapist. I don't know where that came from. You literally said it. You said it in the DMs. You can't record something and then say that you didn't say it later on. And you know what's really interesting, crazy too? I don't know why that dude Jordy even considered doing the interview with this individual if he wasn't going to ask the questions. It is so fucking terrible to have somebody that had this opportunity that was going to interview this woman, these women, both of them, and missed so many opportunities just let this woman ramble and ramble and ramble and said absolutely nothing and just kept it pushing dude an absolute just diabolical I, I, i'm sure jordy is good that interview was god awful bro you should be ashamed of yourself jordy for that shit bro do more research next time bro ah oh, it's bad bro um i have since read through everything that was on erica's phone and I am, you know, I'm a therapist. That's what I do. And when I tell you that this is one of the most dangerously manipulative people. I just really wish people would take accountability, bro. Like, why is Amber such a bad person in this situation? Why can't you look at... Dude, I just wish that she would start it off. Like, maybe she does talk shit about her wife later. But, dude, your wife, you got to be looking at your wife, bro. Amber is literally, like, the weakest part of this entire situation. Look at your wife. Tell her how much of a bad person she is. All the shit. She was literally the one that initiated it. She hit up Amber Lynn Reed. She continued the conversation with Amber Lynn Reed. Yes, Amber Lynn Reed is a homewrecker. But... And your and, and your therapist, huh? And somehow it's 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 all Amber. It's got to be Amber. It's not your wife. It's not your wife. It's not your wife. You're right. My bad. My bad, dude. My bad. What every, what everybody says is true. And you know, I fell victim to this. <laughs> uh, it was not. You didn't. You didn't fall victim to Amberlyn Reed. You fell victim to your wife. Your wife. Your wife. Your wife. Amberlyn Reed was involved, but she was not the she was not the one that initiated it she the fact that this person is a therapist and somehow they've managed to cope themselves into believing that it's all amber lynn is mind-boggling this is actually incredible i cannot believe this is a human being with a mental capacity that is able to work in a place like a therapy office that's actually insane i've never this person should not be employed that, that that's incredible that shit is incredible bro who the fuck employs this woman? Do you have to be to be trying to chase after a married woman? Me and Erica have been married for nine years. <gasps> oh, oh, nine years? Your wife put up nine years and tried to gamble that? Ooh, damn. And you're still with her, huh? You're still with her? You... Why haven't you said anything about your wife? I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out. Like, how the fuck your wife do all this shit to you 
and somehow you just out here blaming this all on Amber. You put up nine years with your wife. Your wife cheated on you multiple times for months. For months. For months. Talk about she was going to move in. She was going to be her girlfriend, dude. Fly her out. Selling, sending illicit text messages. Pictures. And you're over here talking, Amber is just a bad person. Your wife, though. Nine years, huh? True, Man, dude, nine fucking years is crazy. Nine years is insane. That's crazy, bro. Nine years. And she ain't talking about that. And I love that she brought that up as a point. Like, you thought my wife would leave me after nine years? Yeah, I did actually think that, given the fact that she was saying that. Literally saying that. And the fact that she used that as like a, well, uh, me and my wife have been together for nine years. So, obviously, it could never happen. You do realize your wife was literally, like, cheating on you, right? Lo and behold, she was talking to, a.k.a. Tommy, the entire time. Yeah, your wife was a side piece. Your wife was the side piece. She was talking to Erica. 16 hours after I caught the whole thing, Tommy was already with a plane ticket ready to haul ass to Oklahoma. Damn. Think about this position, bro. Your wife was so... Your wife was literally cheating on you with Amber Lynn. Your wife literally was devoted to this woman. And she was just a nothing to Amber. She was a nothing. She was literally so non-essential to Amber that she had flown out another girl the next day. Oh, that's gotta be hard to deal with, dude. Damn, that's so hard, bro. I thought that you guys were married for financial reasons. Woo! Damn, bro. Amber is hitting hard right now, bro. Amber is hitting hard, dude. She literally hit that shit with a, I thought you guys were just together for financial reasons. I thought that was free. Do you know how demented it is to tell somebody that's married not to have sex with their spouse? Like, do you know how crazy that sounds? Why are we upset? Why, why are we up? Why are we upset for, Am why are we upset with Amber when your wife was the one that was doing it? Can we talk about that for a second? Like your your wife was out here spending twenty four hundred dollars on on Amber. She was basically she she paid her rent. I mean she was catching. Duh, Amber was just catching dubs, bro. Amber was catching dubs, bro. I mean I don't know what to say. And not only this, bro. Uh, it seems like it seems like uh, Valentine, right? is actually mentally deteriorated to such a degree that she's also with somebody that is also mentally deteriorated that doesn't acknowledge that she is the reason why this is all transpiring to begin with and somehow has forgiven her wife for her innocent her, her her cheating and her fucking infidelity and she's not acknowledging how any of this shit had to do with her wife why are we mad at amber like it's fine be mad at amber but this is like the equivalent of watching somebody Okay, you're married to somebody, you just watch the person that you're married to suck off a guy, and you get married at the guy, you get mad at the guy. What, get married at the person sucking dick? What, they wanted to suck the dick? Dude, fucking stupid, get mad at them, why are we mad at Amber? Like I said, I thought you guys were just married for financial reasons. Damn, really Amber's actually got a good reason here too, it's actually insane. Oh my god, Amber, I, I can't, I can't even believe this, bro. Amber actually has a good reason. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. There's no way. There's no way Amber is right in this situation, bro. This is insane. Bro, this is actually crazy. Amber actually might not be wrong in this situation. Like, I don't know what she's telling you versus me. Erica is obviously a known cheater and liar. Oh, shit, that's hard, bro. Bro, that is really hard. Holy shit, can you imagine saying that about somebody's wife while you're on the phone with them? And she and, and then she's right. Ooh, damn. Sheesh, bro. That's that's um Peter and Meyer. We're doing it up. We're doing it big right now, dude. We're doing it real big. I finally have my rose tinted glasses completely off. Like, she's crazy and she knows it. And so oh damn! Oh, damn, this shit is hard. This shit is hard, bro. Amber is laying into her hard, bro. Amber is actually right. Amber is right. A known cheater and liar. 
I finally have my rose tinted glasses completely off. Oh, like, she's crazy and she knows it, and I'm sure you do too. Ooh. I got roped into shit. Like, I just want the best for the both of you, and I hope that you guys find that with each other. I can't believe this, bro. I can't believe they made Amber look good. I cannot believe they made Amber look good. A known cheater and liar. Why would you repeat that as if it's not true? Your wife literally cheated on you for months. Literal months. She even said as much in the video like five minutes before this segment. Your wife literally acknowledged that she was cheating. Yes, she was cheating on you for literally months. For literal months. And you're talking about some, a cheater and liar? Yes. Yes, yes that is correct. That is correct. Yeah, she played you. It's hard. Bro. Can you imagine? Oh my god! Can you imagine saying that about your wife? Your your own wife played Amber by playing you. You both got played, but Amber came out on top because she wasn't even cheating. She just got some free box on the side. Amber, free box of Legos, $2,400 attention, did tax me. Dude, she got what she wanted. Amber Lynn got what she wanted. Amber Lynn got what she wanted. And you're talking about some she played you. What are you fucking retarded? Like I feel like she played me. What? Yeah, she played you. It's hard, like a fiddle. Yeah. Oh my god. And it's crazy. Dude, what the fuck is going on right now, bro? I cannot believe she added more to that. <laughs> That's why I said. Amber is the victim in this situation? When the wife should be the victim in this situation? I can't believe this. Sacrifice. Sacrifice the possible future with you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no way, bro! No, dude. Dude, Amber is spitting straight facts right now. She sacrificed a life with you is the most true shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. So, if you knew that she was a cheater, oh. why still talk to her? Uh, because she was getting <laughs> nothing. Bro, she was getting what she wanted. What? Why the- Bro, okay. What kind of logic is that, bro? So you're telling me Amber is getting what she wanted and you're asking her why she stayed in a position where she was getting what she wanted? Okay. Makes sense to me. Makes sense. You're totally... Yeah, this is a justified question. Why... Why were you... Why did you continue get what... Why did you continue getting what you wanted? What? That should be the question. She said, I'm different. You're so different, Amberlynn. You're so different, baby. I love you. Oh, yo, that is crazy. That is insane. The fact that she said, I, I love you. You said, I love you to Amber Lynn while married is so crazy. Oh my God. Oh, I'm a hundred percent aware. I'm a victim. I'm a hundred percent aware. I'm a victim. <laughs> you're not the victim. You're not, you're not a victim. Stop, don't say you're a victim. You're contributing to your own victimness. You are literally doing it to yourself. Do not say you're a victim. You are not a victim. You are still with the individual that victimized you and that makes you. Well, like I know that. Yeah. Had you reached out to me, had you reached out to me and be like, hey, your wife is hitting me up. But why would she do that when she's getting what she wanted, bro? You do, re I, 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 I'm sorry, dude. This, this, this cognitive dissonance is actually insane. I, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. I don't either, because uh, I'm pretty successful. I'm pretty smart. I'm not. <sighs> this is bad. This is this is bad. This is really bad. <sighs> this is bad. If anyone thinks that Amber is in the wrong in this situation, you are wrong. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You are wrong. These people are fucking stupid. These people are so dumb. Anybody that starts a conversation with, I am smart, I am talented, huh, huh? You smell, you sniffing the copium hard, huh? It makes you wonder why she go looking somewhere else, don't it? I mean, yeah, it just- What the fuck are we doing? What are we trying to gloss ourselves right now, dude? We're just glazing ourselves? Like, why does she even cheat on me if I got all this shit? Bro, that just goes to show you, even though you had the prettiness, even though you had the career, even though you were talented, guess what happened? She still cheated on you. I guess none of those things really matter, huh? I guess none of those things really matter if she went to go get on Amber, huh? 
I just don't understand, like, you talk about double lives and shit, but you, you knew about it the whole time. Wouldn't that be you living a double life as well? No. No. No, you fucking dumb person. No. Amber would not be living a double life. She's just talking to somebody on the internet that is a side piece for her. Your wife said as much. Your wife literally said she was a side piece. How the fuck is Amber living a double life when she's just DMing a random chick she met online and getting what she wants? She getting money, she getting all this stuff. She ain't living a double life. She kept it a buck with her. She told her she was a side piece. She told her she was talking to other girls. The very next day after they broke up, she flew out her other girlfriend. She knew he was. she was a side piece. Amber is not living the double life. Are you fucking retarded? Your wife is living the double life. The person sitting next to you in the car. Are you fucking stupid? Are you dumb? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't believe this person is so stupid. This person is actually mentally disabled. Oh, my God. This whole situation went way too far. And to be honest, dude, I can't even believe that Amber Lynn came out of the situation with as many dubs as possible, dude. When I was going through the memos, okay, when I was going through that call that that Brittany sent to Amber Lynn, I almost couldn't believe how disrespectful Amber was in a very mean girl way. It was actually insane. Amber is a straight up G with the amount of comebacks that she was able to generate off the top of her dome. Actually incredible. And to top it off, I, I almost couldn't believe how Amber is usually the person that is the one that doesn't take accountability. But for some reason, Amber was actually taking so much accountability. And the other people on the other side, I don't know if they're clout sharking. I don't know if they're trying to build an online career off the back of Amber Lynn Reed based off this drama, which is never going to work, by the way. This is a terrible way of building an online career. I, if anybody thinks that Amber Lynn is not the right person in this in this whole scenario, you are wrong. There, you, you would be wrong about that. Amber Lynn is the... Amber Lynn is obviously the one that's going to come out on top of this all the other people involved were at first I thought Brittany which was the wife uh I thought she was the one that was the victim in all this no she's not and you know what like Brittany and also Erica are incredibly stupid some of the most stupid individuals I've ever seen in my life like somebody sitting there telling first of all I thought that they were I thought Brittany was a therapist right that's what they had said in the dms that's what they had said on through text messages there's proof of this and uh, apparently, no, she's not a therapist. And you know what? It's actually really crazy because last night, uh, at the time of making this video, you're going to see this a day later, but um, oh, oh Lordy, it's Jordy did a live stream with these individuals, with Brittany and also um, Erica. And j for some reason, I got to keep it a buck with you guys. Look, I got I to gotta keep it. I'm sure oh, oh Lordy, it's Jordy's content is amazing. I'm sure he does great stuff. The man can't, I don't know, this is my only time ever seeing this shit. The man cannot be interviewing people like this, bro. I, 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 it was pissing me off to a different degree. Watching this guy fumble the bag as many times as he did. He would literally just let this woman just talk for minutes straight and without any interruption that are that, on conversations that weren't even relevant to whatever he was talking about. And also, the guy was literally on live stream for maybe three hours or something like that. And he only was on the call with this woman for one or even less than that. And to top it off, the girl, the woman, Erica and Brittany were fully prepared to keep going. They wanted to keep talking, but he ended it too soon. The amount of missed opportunities this man had in front of him is insane to me, bro. He was tossing this woman softballs, bro. Not even really asking questions. And when he did ask a good question and the woman actually didn't say anything as a response to it, like he didn't actually answer the question at all, he would just go, oh, okay, yeah, sure. I don't know if he really doesn't like Amber Lynn. I don't know. But Amber Lynn was in the chat. Dude, Amber Lynn in the chat, dude. Let me join the call. Over this entire list. This entire two-page list. Dude, Amber Lynn was just in the chat. Over. She said, let me join but the we're call. We're not discussing that right now. You know, I'm, just, I'm addressing your questions. Oh, shit. Right, right. And I, that's, I feel like that's... And was texting, hey, let me get in the call. And the amount of, oh, my God, I was prepared to see some major drama that night. And he didn't, he didn't, he didn't do it. He did missed opportunities. Now, I, like I said, he might really dislike Amber to a degree to where he just like can't see anything other than hate. So he's never going to give her a, a platform or anything like that. But that's also really stupid given the fact that you're literally covering the drama. Wouldn't this be like the number one thing that you should be pursuing? If you can get Amber in the call, this would be crazy. I'm sick of people talking shit behind people's backs or making particular content on people and then not being prepared 
to get into a call and debate that shit, bro. Talk about why you don't like that person, what they did wrong. You know, articulate some reasonings instead of just like, I don't know, making your 45 minute video and not like putting up or shutting up, bro. Like, let's be, I don't know why this shit's a guy. But this dude, Jordy, missed so many opportunities. Like I said, I'm sure he's a great YouTuber. I have no quarrel with this individual. But that interview was garbage. That interview was absolutely trashed by the sea. I couldn't even believe it, bro. It was that lake in India. You know that lake in India that's like covered in fecal matter and trash and bottled water and things such and so forth. But it's like a holy lake or something like that. So people still swim in it. But when they come out, they're like have an extra arm or something like that. It was like that. Like whenever there was something good involved, then you put your head under the water and you came up and it was like a turd on your face. That's what it was. The entire interview was a wash. I don't know if every, I, maybe I'm alone in this dude. But on stream, when I was watching this shit, it was a bad interview, dude. Like it, I just couldn't believe that he missed as many opportunities as he did. Um, sometimes a lot of people were telling me that maybe he had paid for it for the interview and he was like fighting against TOS because he didn't want to say a particular thing or, you know, try to go too far on particular something. Maybe there was suing involved. I don't know. I don't know what, what, what the background was on that. That could all be true. But given the fact that you had an interview with this individual and you had the opportunity to ask actual questions and get in deep, none of that was occurring. This guy literally would ask one question and then it would just go on. It would the ask one question. It was a good question, right? Let's just say like, oh, tell us about how Amber was texting your wife or calling your wife and your wife would go on, your wife would go on road trips or like get off from work so she could just call Amber Lynn. And this woman would just talk for five minutes straight about why she has prescription medications and why she needs to go to Walmart to pick up her prescription medications and why it's really a set. I'm just thinking like the whole time, like, why are you letting this woman continue to talk like this? Can you just like interrupt her and actually put her on track again? This woman is is going off on a rant for no reason right now. She's not actually not even answering the question. And when she answered, when she finally got to the end of the statement, which didn't answer the question, Jordy just went, oh, okay, yeah, and moved on. Okay, bro, you can't do that, dude. Why are you even here then? You mind if this woman is literally just like, she's not saying anything at all. And it's whatever you know like i said i'm sure jordy makes great content i'm sure he's a great person on personality on the youtube platform and things such and so forth whatever right but that was a terrible interview okay that was an absolute terrible debate that was a terrible whatever you want to call it dude a terrible conversation i don't know a lot of people were telling me that he was scared of women i don't know but it was bad but i was watching all of this stuff occur and for some reason like I don't know how so many people could be against Amber in this situation. Like, I understand there's a lot of vitriol, a lot of hatred for Amber for all the shit that she's done in the past. And don't get me wrong, I understand there is a lot of stuff that she has done that's absolutely atrocious. Um, especially the way she treated Becky, um, especially the way that she treated her ex-girlfriends and things such and so forth, right? I know, I understand this, right? But in this particular scenario, it's very hard for me to see anybody else besides Amber Lynn coming out on this with anything else than a dub. I mean, this woman was literally... Uh, right in almost every situation. I mean, if we're talking about how, you know, like, oh, this woman literally asked Amber, like, why would you cheat? Why would you live a double life like this? First of all, Amber was not living a double life. Amber was getting what she wanted. She had a random woman on the internet that was giving her what she wanted, Lego sets, money. She was giving her time, attention. She was getting tons and tons of compliments. Amber herself had literally said this. And also the woman within question, Erica was Oh, she came out and she said, yeah, I told her I loved her. I told her I was going to move in. I told her I was going to do all this stuff with her. And uh, for some reason, nobody's going to point out the fact that this was all occurring with your wife. Like your wife was saying this. Forget about Amber. That'd be like, what? you ever watch those old, like, oh, cheater videos where uh, the person would find their their partner or their wife or their their uh, their wife or their husband cheating on somebody in a car, and then instead of getting mad at their their spouse, they get mad at the cheater or they get mad at the person that's that's the other party, the random person. What is wrong with you? That's so fucking dumb. If it, the the call is coming within the house, you can't be upset with Amber Lynn for something your wife did. And then it came out that this individual within question, Erica, had cheated multiple times. And again, when I was watching the conversation with Jordy, he he asked this question, like, did you cheat? And the woman was like, well, no. And then two seconds, like a minute later, she would go, but I did have a scenario in the past where something did happen. And he just let it pass by. He didn't he didn't ask about it at all. Like, oh, okay, can you can you go into that a little bit more? So like. What does that mean exactly? Like, how did, did you cheat? Was there like infidelity? Like, do you count that as infidelity? There was nothing. It was absolutely nothing involved. It was just like, let it go by. Insanity. I don't understand how you can just let something like that go by. Like, if you want content, that was it. And it's just really, really sad, dude. Um, the $2,400 $2, thing, basically, like, I guess what had happened was... Uh, 
Amber had been receiving gifts or money of some kind from this uh, this Erica girl. I don't know exactly what was going on with that, but just from what I saw in the DMs on Empathetic Facts' channel, it was confirmed that this individual, Brittany, or whatever, uh, was trying to recoup $2,400. Now, I don't know exactly how she was planning on recouping that money because she only has like 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I don't know if she's monetized. I don't know if she's able to make videos. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I do know that she was able to go on Jordy's channel, and I thought for when they, when they were going on Jordy's channel that maybe Jordy had to pay them money. I don't know if that's true, though. That's just my head cannon because, like, you're telling me you're trying to recoup the cost of your wife, by the way. It's not it's not Amber cost you the money. Like, the way she phrased it was, Amber cost me $2,400. No, your wife sent money that was uh, given to Amber Lynn. That's not how that fucking works, bro. You can't... That's like taking your phone tossing it at the wall and it breaks and then blaming the wall for the break you can't do that that's not how that works okay the wall is a wall so for for somebody like for somebody to sit there and say that amber is responsible for that is the most stupid statement i've ever heard in my life i mean i was literally blown away at the amount of stupidity that i was literally witnessing i i, I almost can't believe that some people can literally be operating in the society that we have with as much uh uh mental distress um, absolute debilitating mental conditions that these people have. It's insane, bro. And, um, I don't know, bro. I don't know where we're going with this. You probably guys saw a lot of clips. This is just a really quick video. I just really wanted to touch on this because I was actually blown away at the amount of ridiculously stupidity on every single end. Amber literally was the only one that I can literally say wasn't wrong on almost anything. And, but I, you know what, in the next few days, she's probably going to do a couple live streams. She's probably going to talk about it on stream. I did watch a little bit of the live stream she had put out. She was kind of shooting herself in the foot a little bit. She needs to, she just needs to represent a little bit. She had almost done nothing wrong in this situation. Like you can't be mad at the person that was cheating on. You can't be mad at the person that was your wife who was cheating on. You can't, that's not, that's not how that works. That makes no sense at all. Like I get it. Amber's a shit person, right? But in this situation, Amber took a mean dub. And then as of to, oh Lordy, it's Jordy. Bro, you know, I don't know if he's ever going to watch this video or anybody can relay this information to him, bro. Um, that interview was garbage. That was a terrible interview, bro. And uh, you know what, dude? I hope you get better skills on that particular front. I know your content is probably really good given the, you know, uh, amount of reception that you get. But, dude, man, you got it. That is crazy. You let so many opportunities go by. I don't know why you wouldn't let Amber Lynn into call at all, dude. I get it. Maybe you had to ask that individual in the, in the Brittany uh and, and erica if they were okay with that that's fine but you didn't even ask them bro you just you just let it go by and i'm sure that you just don't like amberlyn reed but think about the situation that you're in right now if you're over here talking about the drama with amberlyn reed and amberlyn is literally in the chat trying to get into the call i don't understand how you just completely miss that opportunity it doesn't even make any sense you're trying you're trying to you're trying to farm this out i get it bro but you missed a you missed the biggest that's like literally mining for gold like you're an old prospector right you know what I'm talking about like you're an old prospector with a wooden pipe and and, and, and your overalls and you're just hitting the you're hitting the rock hitting the rock and you see a giant gold mine is massive and you go nah and then you just walk out that's what you did that's what that live stream was it was there you all you need to do is just one swing swing it over your back go into town drop it on the table and cash in and you did it. You just left it there, never to return. <sighs> Sad, bro. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave uh, a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all that stuff. I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, yeah, that's that's it. That's a quick one today, okay? I don't know. You, you're a beautiful person. If you watch the video in its entirety, uh, leave it down below by typing in W because that is what Amber took this week. Amber literally took nothing but W's, bro, which is crazy. I don't even like Amber, but I'm not afraid to admit when somebody takes a W, bro. Amber took a W. She got it. Anyway, guys, quick video. You're a beautiful person. You smell really good. I love you and I love everything about you. Thank you for being here with me. Everybody here is an amazing person. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.